gospel talk a hian kan lo how the holy spirit has worked in your life and mm. my life bible a kan ni na aso chu ka song mai tu lo ole hi chi bai ole fo in hi um khul ma ya ya sport and organ a tho ga fo in hi ni som ni september ni som ni sang ni som ni pan ni ya thil dang lam deu ka tonga chon hi ai lo wa thona hen kan thelu pakhat ni ka tonga chon ring tu lo ni christian lo ni chon apa pui baptist minister baptist rongbol tu alo ni ngala pa hi chu chu dang dai deu tu hen interview kan ni dona on share dona to over to you okay um hello my name is rebecca register i have met this gentleman sitting next to me on the plane today i'm en route to california with a friend of mine and just going to take this opportunity to share a little bit about my life um i'm 40 uh, okay oh um coming to rebecca in california kala susu kakal dona cha he ka he ka chat pass yang khan he ka this minute ka share lo dona ne I'm I'm 47 years old. Kum somli pasari kan ya. I have three children. Fa patum kan eto. And I work in the hospital. In the operating room. Nurse ni amai hospital ka thoka ni. Um I grew up my father was a minister. I went to a private school. Very traditional upbringing. Oh so hey dan khir tak to ese lekan ka pa ka rongbol tu ani at one private school ka kala hey bible tan no sir tu chena ta so not I was taught a very strong foundation in God um what I needed to believe in and fortunately my father who was a minister um had an affair with a lady in the church um ke ma hi ei christian chu ko sei le kan dinang e ka pa ha bong bol to ne ma se poi do chu kan ko sana kan ke ka e ka pa hi an So as you can imagine that was um detrimental to my faith and how I looked at ministers how I looked at God not only was he my pastor he was my father and that caused a lot of bitterness and anger to set in my life So to one so is the effect na he kan e rongbol to ko mudan le i think i'm hey till christian na ka mudan de so ka ka to pa ke ma ka ka thin ure me ma ka tian ka do thil seng kha in the time to ka ringa I was very broken. Um I felt as though I never had the love of a father and as a young girl you need that love of that father and that caused me to um seek love in all the wrong places and all the wrong men. So so now hey um so pa ma ina ni lo wang ha ka inchia hey ya thi ma ina ka kom di lo lo a ka zong ta mun sang sang a chon bi pa sang sang a te kan ma ina ka zong ta When you have anger and that sets in and bitterness it destroys who you are it takes away any bit of happiness glow peace that you may have ever had and when that bitterness is fed by time and it grows and grows it overtakes you oh to khak na le ka tenga ngai dam lo nei ni chon ei min he ati khan ke mani kha min ei zu ka ati khan a ei kan vul lem pe chon a chalo e e ma kan na hin Um so I left home at 17. I went to the you know went out on the streets to do my own thing, didn't want to have rules or regulations of any kind. So an kum song pasari ka din in ka chua santa streets a kholai ka khosa nun duk tak lo ka nea. Ei rules le regulations eng ma tan le do nin por ka ka du lo. So an ti kham kom ta top mai ka nun kham ka du do in ka khosa ve la. I immediately got involved with a um young man that was definitely a part of the street life and soon taught me the parts of the street life so i became i started to sell drugs son bi pakha ka kopui pa kha fu lawa chu ani so hey ne street and don dan min zirtir tu ne chu pa chu ama po street mi de wa hi nia chu chu bang chu ta tang rei lo te a chu drugs ka lo zwar ta there was so many times in my life that As I look back on it now there was one specific instance where I was making a transaction and um this these three guys pulled me into the back of an alleyway and had a sort of shotgun to my head. Oh. Vekha pe chuka tinga drugs ka zo. Like han mi pa pa thum hi he ta i ya nu ma hen min pota chuan i shotgun hian ka lu a hian e min tin ta ne. They wanted to rob me, but even in that moment I was so angry and so upset that I did not want to give them the things that they wanted off of me, so they began to take off my jacket, going through all my pockets to get 
the drugs that they wanted to to steal from me. So, so me just want to tell you, yeah, ma se, hey, kalo huat milu tuk dovang in mi pa ka katakan kapedu chong kalo wat chong chong tilu ina kan katom do dekan la chong drugs andu pera ka min lak lu sakta chong hou chong. So once they finally got the things that they wanted, two of them left. One of them stayed with the gun still pointed at me, and he wanted more than just the drugs. So he asked me. I had two options: a, he would, I would let him rape me, or he would kill me. Chung patum zinga pani chu an kalbo ta katyan kalbo kan tiyan pakatuan tiyan aseta du thandu ka pengche tu na hian i kathaton che anilau chuan i kamut pi don che i du zo thangro kapong sol don che ti to mene i du zo thangro tiyan. Just as I was telling him no, that that was not going to happen, um, I had a, another friend that was there to pick me up. Heard the noise in the background, came into the back of the alleyways. That guy got scared and he left. Hatiya roti atum chi alay takat mi pakat minon hey minon lam tu karong kalatuan atoma shet kan kapaga san si ta. So in that one regards, and I have thousands of stories like that. God spared my life in a time awesome, when I was awesome. so far from Him. Awesome. He was not in, even in my thoughts, but I am never awesome. out of His thoughts. Avan soi chaem ente khalai khan ka sualai berin patien po ka ngai tua lo tsiang ania pas ama zo ke milo ngai tua ta khan kan dun na min chat chuak ania. Hallelujah. Yes, because the Bible says that He has a plan for you. Not only does He have a plan for you, but He has a plan for you, and He's going to prosper you. Bible so dia na so itan til tu mane til tum ringot pon ni lovin atip mi ngil don se atia ni and even though that those those thoughts those verses those plans were so far from where i was at that moment in my life god was still right there waiting waiting for me protecting me putting people in my life to pray for me the prayers of my family and god is what pulled me through kalai kalai te po khan nge khatia pathian ka hlatla e mem khan pathian hian katana tong trai tu tu hi alo da ka chung tile mi ke ma min do sak tu mi tong trai sak tu an oma khang ho tong trai na khan ke ma ha mi lo chan chuak ring alo ni hallelujah and even if you are by yourself and you don't have any family and there are many people all over the world that are like that the only person that you will ever need or ever need to rely on is god because he will never leave you he will never forsake you he's there when you don't even think he is he's already working ahead of you in the next day to take care of those things he says don't worry about tomorrow let's i let me take care of the today you know god feeds and worries about the food of birds You know that your life is so much more valuable, so much bigger. And if he takes his time to worry about how he's going to feed the birds, you, my friend, are going to be blessed and taken care of beyond any of your imagination. So, up to the other side, I don't know what to say. Hey, to the other side, don't try to do it. I think to do my in a little bit, but here, in other than in a little bit, but here, I have in my hair. So, today. That's really awesome. And and this is for the girls, the young women, the women that have done things in their past. The enemy is a reminder. That's his job to come to you and to throw up all of the things that you have done. But here's what you need to turn around. Tell him your sins are forgiven. They are washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. You are covered from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. It does not matter what you have done. It does not matter who you think you were. It only matters who God tells you you are, and you are a prosperous. You are forgiven. You are redeemed. You are restored. Those. That's the truth. Not what the enemy tells you every day. Hey, abik tangi hey he mencia how nun duk taklo tu la kamu nun. Tema itu angan lo nung lo, pasien tu lo angan lo nung to tan suan kasih lang cek. Mel ma pa hi reminder, ama hi aron siat tiu cie lang cek. Inu ni kalau wat tu dia kat yang ini cie nadi ati yang cek. Ma se mo tiu cie cie lang cek. Di tiang lim tokan ini ngai dam tokan ini mo ke ma tu pasien ni minti muhil don, pasien minti sak don kat yang kan enya setena dot kat yang kan ilau counter zel don ya tu tak. Wow, that's really good. So. When I decided to stop believing the lies 
that the enemy, when I knew who I was, when I finally knew what my worth was, my worth was not defined by the things that I have done in my life. Amen. My worth is not defined by who my father was or Amen. was not. Amen. My worth is not defined by what man says it should Amen. be. My worth is defined by my Jesus Christ. And he says that I am the most important person that I am gifted, that I am favored, Amen. that he's going to prosper me in ways that are going to be on. Yeah. And when I'm going through the trials, because you will go through your trials, you will go through storms. Here's the thing. you got a lifesaver. You've got a lifeboat that you're riding in and it is Jesus Christ and he will bring you through. And when he brings you through, it is even going to be uh -huh. bigger and the blessings are going to be bigger than what you, heaven will open up and your room will not be able to contain what he will bestow upon you. I want to pray up to say, come on. It's not me. It's not me. I mean, I'm sorry, Dan, say, Bob. It's too much. It's too long, Dan, Bob. I mean, I'm Dan. I say, Inni, I ain't got me, Lover. Inni, I'm not talking to you, but here, Inni, I'm not talking to you. Inni, I'm talking to you. To me, so Inni, not to me, so Inni, not to me, so Inni, not to me, but here, I'm 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 not to me, but so, sister, can you tell me a little um, about how how you actually came out of that life? And, oh, can you describe a little bit about um, how you were living from age uh, of 17 to 29? Yes. Yeah. And then, listen, I have, I have lived in sheds, in people's backyards. I have lived in my cars. Car, I have lived in my cars. I have I've had to go into grocery stores and steal food mm. just to eat and uh, and, 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 and isn't this interesting that I left home to have a better life to have freedom mm -hmm. to think that things were going to be so much better mm -hmm. but as long as you're playing on the devil's playground so, so you can better believe that you're going to have high 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 Price to pay. So, and, uh, you remind me of the prodigal son who ended in the pig pen. Yes. Yeah, left his father's yes. house. And, yes. And ended up with yes. the pigs. Yes. Uh, you, you yes, that's absolutely. For Patanbo, I'm no harm. No, a pa in a source and a norm, no norms of Mantu in Massa, Vokina Topa, and Ipo, me in a text. You can't call I a cost of top many I in Swasan, no norm, and don't can't too soon a pa in it was and so on, and you know what it top. When I allowed my heart to forgive the people, forgiveness, the people that hurt me, that wounded me, and I didn't forgive them for them, I forgave them for mm. me understand that when you forgive somebody you're not releasing them for what they've done to you or what you feel that they've done to you but our god says that if i don't forgive my a man if i don't forgive somebody he's not just to forgive me of my sins and i don't know about you but lord knows i need forgiveness multiple times a thousand times every day so i had to release it and when you release it because we want to hold on to it mm -hmm. because we think we're controlling it, but it's controlling us. True. You have to release it to God so, and so, he will give you the peace that will pass all understanding. And I encourage. So did, yes. um, did your healing start from that forgiveness you said? Yes. Yeah. My my heal. Your it, this isn't. I so want when, people, when when did you actually start to forgive um, those people? I have to forgive them every day. That's okay. a good question. You when have to did, walk when, in forgiveness every single day. So in your life, when did that forgiveness process actually start? The forgiveness process started when I finally decided for me enough was enough. I was tired of hurting. Okay. How old were you? Um, I was 28. So from 17 okay. to 28. Oh, my mother time. my mother stayed on her knees all those years wow. praying for me. And so, 
ตรงคอลอเวอร์ตรงคุมสมนีปริยะตะนีขันกันนูเฮียมีโลตรงใจสะชาวเซอร์ชีระชิงชีตรงใจส่วนอตรงใจนะขันติขันเนาะส่วน
And you, while it's great that God gives us ministers and shepherds to guide us, your your line to God is the same line that I have, is the same line that He has. Is this? It's a direct line. You don't have to have anybody pray for you. You can get on your knees and you say the words that you need, and God is there in your presence. So what I'm going to finish the thought with this, what I've learned the most through all of my, this, through all of my testimony is this, when I'm in a situation that I've done something that I'm not proud of or that I've sinned because that's what we are, we have a sinful nature. I do not let that keep me separated from amen, God anymore. Amen, amen. Wow. I say oh. no. I wow. ask for forgiveness. I'm awesome, redeemed. Awesome. And oh. I will not let this circumstance oh, separate yeah. me from God. That's really good. That's ตัวเนี่ยเฮ้ยทิลกับตัวอังโลวาโลคาโลนุปัลชินอปเทนดูโลซองอันนี้คาตาคาตาทิลติคาตาเทียนกับอินซาทิลดูโดนตัวโลค